Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, and in this episode, we're going to play Where Are All Those Wrestlers We Thought Were Going to WWE? First up, where is Kyle O'Reilly? The former Ring of Honor champion reportedly turned down a new ROH deal just days before his Wrestle Kingdom 11 match last week, which might be why he lost the belt in 10 minutes to Adam Cole, baby. Dave Meltzer speculated that O'Reilly must be on his way to WWE, but PW Insider is reporting he's actually considering a few more options. One of which being him signing a deal with Flow Sports, which would see him used on the wrestling promotions on their streaming service. Until O'Reilly makes a long-term decision, he'll continue to work with ROH on a per-appearance basis. Next, where is Tommy N? He's an NXT, but you might not know it by reading the names on their roster, because he's been given a slave name. Presumably because WWE don't want people chanting Tommy, Tommy, Tommy f***ing end on their PG product, he is now going by the name Alistair Black. Or if you want to annoy WWE, Alistair f***ing Black. Chris Hero has also been suppressed by his new WWE overlords, making him retake his previous slave name Cassius Ono. Despite still having some indie dates to finish up, he made his in-ring NXT return at the weekend at a house show in Largo, Florida. Thanks to Twitter user at Sean underscore at underscore Atomic, here's some footage of Ono chopping Andrade Cien Almas. <laughs> kicking Andrade Cien Almas. Launching his full body weight on top of Andrade Cien Almas. <laughs> and for all of you who are probably going, wow, who ate all the Andrade Cien Almas's? Here he is doing a kip up next to Andrade Cien Almas. Because things suck when everyone looks the same. Embrace those who succeed despite not fitting into that cookie cutter mold. And finally, where is Shelton Benjamin? Benjamin was meant to be one of the first ex-WWE wrestlers to return after the brand split, with SmackDown even announcing his imminent arrival on the 26th of July. In some brutally bad luck though, Shelton Tories rotator cuff the following week, meaning we're all still waiting for that return. January, however, is the month of rampant speculation on WWE returns and surprises, as the Royal Rumble is the perfect place to debut them. It's been about six months now since Shelton's injury, so naturally many a fantasy booking crazy athletic spots for him in the 30-man over-the-top rope elimination match. Benjamin addressed them on Twitter. Recovery is going well, still months away from anything physical, so all the Royal Rumble predictions are as accurate as they've been the last six years. Benjamin is still in no condition to wrestle, so it looks like no surprise return later this month. Unless it's all the wrestling work! If any wrestlers don't make it to the Royal Rumble, though, they can always turn up in the impact zone with a slightly different name. TNA have been filming a massive batch of tapings for the last several days and a few spoilers have come out from the shows. Both Brooke Tessmacher and Angelina Love made their returns to the promotion which now has a new logo as this fan tweet from the taping shows. If you're thinking, why is there a giant bird in the middle? It's because that is the A from Anthem Sports and Entertainment, TNA's new owners. Which non-WWE stars would you like to see debut in the Royal Rumble match and how? Fantasy book The Bullet Club being led by John Cena in the comments below. If you want to find out which ex-TNA star signed with WWE recently or watch that Chris Hero slash Cassius Ono NXT match footage in full, click the videos to the left and subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.